Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the VLOOKUP function, but with multiple lookup criteria in an array formula. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a list here that has six different students, four different classes for each student, and their grades. And I have data validation drop-down lists with all six students, all four classes. And as I choose each one of these, I want the grade to appear. So if I change this to Tom and to Math, he got an A. If I change it to Betty and Math, notice she got a C. Betty in History or Biology, she got a D. So you can see as I change the two different options I have here, the grade will automatically populate based on the data that's in my table here. So how do we do this? Well, here's our formula. I'm going to use the formula text function and go into cell G2. And you can see our formula is a VLOOKUP formula. We use the choose function. It's an array formula. If you notice, it has curly brackets around it. So we have to use Control, Shift, and Enter to enter that formula. And in the choose function, the index number, notice, is 1, 2 in curly brackets, which is an array constant. So let's walk through this and see how it works. First, in our VLOOKUP formula, you'll notice we have a lookup value. That's the concatenation of E2 and F2. The table array is our choose function, and we'll walk through that because that's really the key to this working. The column index is column 2, and our range lookup is 0, which is an exact match. So our lookup value is the concatenation of these two. So all I'm doing is saying equals E2 concatenated using ampersand with F2. And that's going to give me those two values concatenated together with no space. So in this case, Betty Biology, if I change it to Tom in Biology or Tom in Math, that just changes to whatever those two values are concatenated together. So that's our lookup value. And again, with any lookup formula, and hopefully you're comfortable with those, if not, please go back to my website and do some research and searching on various videos that contain uh, the VLOOKUP formula so you can understand it a little bit better. The column index is a number two, so we're looking into the second column for the results. And again, the range lookup is zero, which means it's an exact match. So again, our key here is the table array. And we use the choose function to accomplish this. So let's take a quick look at choose. If we look at the choose function, equals choose, you see it chooses a value or action to perform from a list of values based on an index number. So the arguments of the choose function is an index number, then value 1, value 2, value 3, etc. So in our formula here, if we look at choose, the index number is the array constant 1, 2 in curly brackets. Value 1 is the concatenation of column A and column B of my table. So it's basically creating a table that has those two uh, sets of values concatenated together so they can be matched by the lookup value from my VLOOKUP. And value 2, which will be column 2, those are the grades in column C. So when you create an array constant by putting a 1, 2 in curly brackets, it basically is telling the choose function not to select one or the other. It's saying select both. So it is creating a table with the first set of values, which is the concatenation of column A and column B, the name and the class, that becomes the first set of values that it's choosing. And the second set of values is column C, which is the list of the grades. So if we, I'm going to expand my formula bar here so it's a little easier to see. But if we 
highlight our table array in the choose function, you'll see that when I hit F9, what it's done is it takes the concatenation of the name and the class, and for in this case, Tom English is row one, column one, and then the A from column C is row one, column two. Then you see a semicolon, meaning go to row two. And then you have Tom Math and A in row two, Tom Biology B in row three, etc., etc., etc. So basically, by using the choose function with an array constant one, two in curly brackets, it's saying don't choose one or the other, choose both and create that table. And because we've concatenated both my lookup value and the table array that we're looking into, this requires it to be an array formula. So that's why we have to use Control Shift Enter to enter the formula so that it will look into all the different aspects of the array and choose the correct one. So that's how you can create a formula with multiple criteria for VLOOKUP and array constants using the choose function in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.